Uh, madam, it means um, ma'am. It means um, it means uh, uh madam means uh, uh, uh well, ma madam good. means it's, it's, a, a girl. It's a girl. Yeah, it's a salutation or it's a greeting. It's a way to to address someone. Okay. All right. How about uh, uh, urgency? Urgency. What does that mean? It's serious. The matter. The matter of. Uh, the matter of. Uh, it's. It's. Uh, but serious, I come with the good. matter. Serious. Any other words you can think of that go with serious? Serious. It's very. Uh, it's very important. The matter important. of. Importance. I like that. Yeah. Serious and important. Okay. And it needs to be dealt with right away. Right away. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a phrase. Now we haven't done a phrase. His voice was soft. What does that mean? If someone says his voice is soft, that, that's what I'm trying to get you to tell me. What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? His voice is soft? Yeah. What does that mean? What does the phrase mean? Because because like there's all you understand all the words. His voice <sighs> was soft, but what does that all mean together? His voice was deeper. It was deeper. Nope. Nope. Soft. Soft voice. What is a soft voice? It means a squeaky. It's like squeaky voice. Nope. Nope. So soft means a low voice. Low voice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Squeaky is different. Low means it's, 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 it's you know, the kind of the opposite of, of, a, of, of a hard or rough. Okay. All right. Now, what does the word refined mean? Refined. And if you're not sure, please go out to the internet and look up the definition for us. Refine, okay. Impurities or unwanted elements having been removed, having been removed by processing. Uh, you, yeah, but that that it, that that you're looking at in terms of metal. Like, it, it refined means to to um, kind of smooth over, uh, take shape. Okay. Um, okay. You're making something better. Okay, so when you when you define a word, Sarah, you want to actually use like less specific. You, you you're you're not trying to be um, you're not trying to use as big a words. You're trying to use like plain words to be okay. able to describe okay. it. Okay. Um. All right, so that's good. Let's go. Let's go grab another section of the text here, and uh, let me go grab a step of that. <clears throat> Everything okay on your side? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, just making sure. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip in another section for us to review. Here we go. All right, so go ahead and read this out loud for us, please. Come inside, get out of this nasty night. Surely your business can wait for a moment or two. 
Uh, I don't want to trouble you. Normally, I would approach you more properly, but I received a word of a position. I have an opportunity to go to America as the dentist for Seattle's Japanese community. Good, good. All right, so let me just ask you about some things here. Um, what is nasty night? What does that mean? It's in the first sentence. Come inside, get out of this nasty night. What, what, what do you think that could be referring to? Get out of this, get out of this dangerous place. Okay, so it could be dangerous. Okay, that's, 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 that's possible. Okay, it's also could be related to weather. Have you ever heard say the weather is nasty out? Uh, the bad weather. Yeah, related to bad weather. Yeah, specifically bad weather. Okay. Um, now, what does it mean when someone says, I don't want to trouble you? What does that mean to you? I don't want to trouble you. <sighs> I don't want to hurt you. That's not, uh, try again. That's not what it means. Because if, if you wanted to say, I don't want to hurt you, you would just say that. I don't want to trouble you. And if you're not sure, just say so. I mean, I'm, this isn't, I mean, I'm not trying to like, I'm, I'm just, we're just trying to have a dialogue here about what, what's going on. Sometimes you have to read the rest of the, 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 the sentence. So I don't want to trouble you. And then it says, normally I would approach you more properly. Okay. Any idea what that means? I, um, I think it means... Uh... If you're not sure, I mean, just type it into the internet. See what see what you see there. That's the other way to do this, Sarish. Okay. I don't want to fight you, I mean. Nope. Nope. What the, I, I searched it up. Well, that that's not the right one. When someone says I don't want to trouble you, they're 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 trying they're trying to avoid taking up your time. Like they they know they know that their request um is is important to them but may not be important to you. Okay. All right, so let's try another one here. I've received word. Okay, so that's that's here in line forty. It says, "But I've received word." What what does that mean to you? And and sometimes you got to reread it in the context of the sentence. Here, normally I would approach you more properly, but I've received word of a position. What does that mean to receive word? Because that, that you normally don't say that. You you say like I received the football or I received a package. What but it says I received word. Yes, no, maybe so. Any idea here? I've I received uh, I received news. Okay, so yeah, exactly. So I have some news. I it's, received it's like, word. So, yeah, I exactly. got. I have, I have news. I have some news. That's perfect. Good. Okay. Um, what does the word opportunity mean? Opportunity. Yes.
opportunity means uh, opportunity means uh, uh, there's likely a chance it might happen. It might happen. Okay, so it's something good. Yep. Out in the future. Okay. All right. Um, very good. Okay. So let's. Uh, I feel like we need a break. What do you think? I need a break. You need a break. All right. How mm -hmm. much time do you want? Sarish, how much time do you need? Um, five minutes. Okay. Like that. I'll see it. I'll see it. Seven twenty-two. Okay.
Okay, Sarish, I'm back. Let me know when you're ready. I'm back. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more of a passage here. Um, we're almost done with this one, believe it or not. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. All right. So let me uh, let me put this on here. Okay. I wonder why that didn't paste. There it is. Okay. So let me go ahead and grab this. Okay. Uh, go ahead and read this out loud for us, please. Mm, okay. Okay. Congratulations. She said with amusement that, that that is an opportunity, I'm sure, but how am I involved? Even not noting uh, Naomi's uh, breadless reaction to the name card. She had no idea. Akira's message delivered like a formal speech, filled her with a maternal amusement. You know how children speak? All right. So, um... Anything here you don't understand? Um, I think I remember uh, those. I think. Oh, I think Sarah, come on. Look, come on. Last time I asked you about three or four things you didn't understand. So you, you can't tell me you understand everything about this. I remember. I, I think I'm good. Okay. Well, when I ask you a bunch of things here and you can't do them, I mean, that's not any good, right? So, uh, yeah, there's no words I can remember. I don't remember. Well, or phrases. Um, like here's okay, my delivery, like a form of speech. Okay. So let me um, let me throw some out here if I can here. So, how about the word amusement? What does the word amusement mean? Amusement means um, amusement means it's like you know, amusement means it's a park. It's a park. It's a kind of like no, a park. No, that is not what it means in this context. So, once you go to the internet, you have to look at it. Congratulations! The state she of said experiencing the finding something funny. Okay, so experiencing something fun, that's amusement. Okay, what does it mean when someone says this, uh, when someone says um, uh, breathless reaction? What does that mean? What is a breathless reaction? Breathless reaction? Yeah. Gasping, gasping for breath, typically do the exertion. No, because Sarah, she got to look at it in context. Breathless reaction to the name card. She had no idea. They're not that. They're not exercising. They're what are they doing? Sometimes you're breathless for other reasons, like besides exercise. Like, have you ever been surprised? I think they were surprised. Okay, so that would be a better explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so surprised, okay. So now here's two things that you didn't know and you said you knew everything about this, okay. So what is a formal speech? Formal speech, what does that mean? Formal speech, the formal speech means Again, it's okay if you go out to the internet. I'm, I'm just, I, you know, this is part of your learning process. Is when you don't know something, you go look it up. You go find out what does it mean. Okay, formal. Um, so formal speech. Uh, uh, 
a correct and serious rather than a relaxed and friendly and used, especially in official situations. Okay, so it, it's not it's it's not relaxed and friendly. It's it's a uh, like think about when the president speaks. Speaks is that is that formal? Yeah. Well, so is it is it relaxed and friendly? It's just friendly. It's just friendly, I would say. It's not friendly, Sarish. Friendly is like when you're talking to your dad or your mom or your you know your friends, like. Um, Go ahead and look it up one more time, please. Formal speech. Um, no one. So the other thing you can do here is you can always do, you can always add this when you look it up. You can say formal speech definition. Like you can always look that up that way. That way you you are searching for the definition of it. It's in. It's less personal than informal language. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to less the internet. Less personal than informal language. I looked it up in the internet. It doesn't say. Anything. Okay. So the the here's what the internet says, and this is you know this. I don't know why this is so difficult because you just have to read exactly what. But it says I searched it up in the internet, and you don't. It even says think formal it. speech or behavior is very correct and serious. Rather yes, I than, said that. No, you did not. I I you said that. Not. No, you said it, the second part, which is what it is not. It is not relaxed and friendly. It is used in official situations. Yeah, okay. I was saying that and. All right. What does the word maternal mean? Maternal. Maternal. Denoting feelings associated with or typical of a mother motherly. So it's motherly is what it is. Motherly yeah. feelings. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do another um, another little bit here. Believe it or not, we're not even close to being done with this. That's okay. Um, it takes a while to go through these passages. All right, go ahead and uh, read this for, for me, please. Out loud. Okay. Uh, even nothing, Naomi's breathless no, reaction. No, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, stop. It's uh, noting, even noting, even noting. Go ahead and start from the beginning. Okay. Sir, come on, you got to read it out loud. That's what I'm asking you to do. I just. You, yeah, I'm reading out loud. Okay, we'll then start from the beginning and go ahead and read out Even loud. Even noting first. Naomi's breathless reactions to the name card, she had no idea. Sorry, 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 sorry. We, we've we've already done this. Um, sorry about that. I, I didn't realize that's what. Um, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let, let's let's have you. I, I I messed up here. So let me. That's fine. Let's let's have you start here. Uh, even though we've, it's we just finished this one off, so keep going. Akira's message. Start there. Akira's message delivered. Sarish, could you read this out loud, please? Yeah. Even noting Naomi, 
It's still the same. It's okay. Please just read from the beginning. Let's get through Even this. Even noting Naomi's breathless reaction to the name card, she had no idea. Akira's message delivered like a formal speech, filled her with maternal amusement. You know how children speak so earnestly, so hairily, so endearingly about things that have no importance in an adult's mind. That's how she viewed him as a child. Okay, so let's look at uh, let's look at the words earnestly, uh, endearingly. I want you to look those words up for us, please. And this time, I want you to put the definition in the chat. I'll I'll put a message in the chat so uh, you can see that there. But go ahead and look up earnestly and put the uh, definition in the chat for us, please. Inner earnestly is means with sincere and intense conviction. Seriously, Sorry, please copy and paste the text into the chat. Okay. Take a look here. So we got to be careful here. So when you when you when you define words. You have to, when you define something, you have to make sure you know all the words, like with sincere and intense conviction. Do you know what conviction means? Convicting. Do you know what the word conviction means? Yeah. What does it mean then? Conviction. Um, well, your uh, conviction, um, well, uh, it means like you're just making like a, uh, uh, like it's like something like uh, someone is guilty. Conviction means their uh, conviction means you're uh, proving on somebody who is guilty, like that. Very good. Okay. All right. How about the word endearingly? Endearingly, please. Endearingly. Endearing. In a in a manner that inspires affection. Let me go ahead and uh, copy that into the chat, please. Okay. What does the word affection mean? Affection? Yeah, what does the word affection mean? So you have to be careful here. You can't just use the words that are there because you have to say, what the, I'm going to ask you what the word affection means. What does it mean to be affectionate? A gentle feeling of fondness or liking. Okay. So being fond, being fond of someone. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's do another section here. Doing great. Uh, let me pull up. Um, All right, so here we go. All right, so go ahead and just make this a little bigger. Onto a new. All right, so go ahead and uh, read this out loud for us, please. It was it was it was how she viewed Naomi, even though Naomi was eighteen. And training endlessly in the arts, need to make a good marriage. She had made no effort to find her a husband. Akira blushed. Depending on your response, I may stay in Japan. I've come to ask for Naomi's hand. Okay. So what does it mean when someone says good marriage? What does good that marriage. mean? Uh, 
I know what I mean. I, I think I know what it means. You are welcome to look these up on the internet. I'm not looking for you to come up with your own ideas if you're not sure. Just to try to think through what that what that means. Good marriage. Successful. What what makes a successful marriage? To make a successful, and they are in meeting to make a successful understanding. Okay, so good marriage means a successful one. It means uh, understanding one another. Okay, what does the word blushed mean? Blushed. Means you're uh, means you're uh, kidding. Nope. Try again. Means you're blushing and are you? Uh, you're you, you, uh, you're you, joking. It means you're joking. That is not true. That is not the correct. The, that's sorry. You cannot use the word when you're defining words. So you have to go go search that. Go search the word blush. It's shame. It's it's mean shame. Not necessarily. I mean, okay, it could be shame. I'll say that it could be shame, but that's yeah. not the, the typical way with people think when they're blushing. There's a different word. All I'm asking you to do is go out to the internet and look this up. I'm not asking you to do anything more comprehensive than that. It just shows shyness, embarrassment, or shame by coming by becoming red in the face. There's the big one, shame. That's the one we're looking for. We're looking for that word, shame. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the word embarrassment is the one I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for there. Okay. Let's get see if we can get there a little bit more of this. You're doing great. Um, let's do another Debbie's hand. All right, let's look here. There's a longer passage, but that's okay. We'll just see, see what we can do with it. All right, so this might take a little longer to read, but go ahead and uh, read that out loud for me, please. Okay. I think it's time to go. It's almost time. We got we got some time, sorry. Go ahead and read this out loud for us, please. Suddenly she felt the uh, damnness of the night. Does no and does Naomi know anything of your ambitions? We have an understanding. Please don't judge my candidacy by uh, by this unseamless of this proposal. I asked directly because the use of go of a go between takes much time. Either um, method comes down to the same thing, a matter of parental approval. If you give your consent, I become Naomi's Yoshi. We'll live in the house of Fuji. Without your consent, I must go to America to secure a new home for my bride. Okay. So let's talk about that first part, dampness of the night. What does the dampness of the night, what does that mean to you? And again, if you want to look that up, that's fine.
discouragement. Damp dampness of the night. Dampness of the night. Means discouragedness. It, it, no, no. Think of what the word damp means. What does it mean when something's damp? It, and suddenly Chi felt the discouragedness. He felt the dis discourage. No, the dampness of the night does not. What does the word damp mean? Oh my. Stay of or condition of being slightly wet. I mean, we don't have a lot of that in Arizona because it's very dry, but you've said you've been to New York and it's very damp there. What does the word damp mean? It means it's slightly wet. Yes, yes. So it means it's wet, wet out, okay? I thought it's we're going to be uh, giving it a different cold. word. What is another word for it? No, no, we're using that, okay. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, we can, we can stop here for, uh, for today. Let me go ahead and stop the recording. Um,